Hello fellow engineers and welcome to the password game. So this is a cool little puzzle game based on those super strict requirements you often get while creating a password. And being an engineer, I'm a firm believer that the simple solution is usually the best solution. So whilst hackers are trying to guess super complex passwords, they may not think of the obvious password. Now I've passed rule one, but rule two, the password must include a number. So what everyone does logically, add a one at the end. It's got to have an uppercase letter. So let's make that P bigger and then the password also needs a special character and I feel like the obvious is just exclamation mark at the back. Anyway rule five the digits in your password must add up to 25. So by digits I assume I can't just do 25. No that I think that adds up to five six seven eight. Quick maths. So if I do a four to make five and then just five 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 nice so your password must also include a month of the year so let's just go i'll tell you what actually let's swap the word password with may it makes it a lot simpler a lot shorter as well rule seven your password must include a roman numeral now we've done that with a capital m because that's a thousand remember so nice and then your password must include one of our sponsors so coca-cola costa or bp now uh, tell you what let's just put Pepsi on the end. Rule nine, the Roman numerals in your password should multiply to 35. Okay, and we've got a thousand. <laughs> so you probably can't use May for a month. So what about April? Okay, that's good. We now have no Roman numerals. So we failed rule seven. Remember, we got to keep all of these going like all at once. So this could get pretty complex. Yeah, but Roman numerals multiplying to 35. Shall I just do five times seven? So if I do V, I, I, that's seven. Can I just shove a V after it? Yeah, I can, because that's not a number. Uh, rule 10, your password must include, oh no, not a capture. How are you, how do you actually pronounce that word? Capture. It is just capture. Okay, well, that's got loads of numbers in. There is, okay, yeah, I might just, I might just refresh, try and make this a bit easier on myself. Look, there's one with no numbers. X, G, C, X, Y. Okay, that was so good. Your password must include today's word or answer what it's not pepsi is it pepsi wait a minute can't be it can't be april either because it's meant to have an e and april isn't a word and i'm pretty sure it wasn't that <laughs> let me just delete everything it still contained oh you stupid game you made me ruin my wordle streak so yeah the game was just memeing with me Fair play, you actually got me. Right, your password must include a two-letter symbol from the periodic table. Uh, ooh, how do I go about that? I mean, I could add it. I'm sort of thinking, though, if I swap Pepsi with Shell, then that's still completed. I can then give ourselves HE. We got helium, because that is a two-letter symbol from the periodic table. Nice. Okay, that's done. Next one, your password must include the current phase of the moon as an emoji. What? I mean, I'm on a computer. How do I even go about adding emojis? Ah, emoji. So I search moon. We've got all of these. So I guess we just add them all in till one works. Oh, there you go. It worked. It worked. Nice. Okay, so get rid of the first two. It's just that one that we need. Uh, your password must include the name of this country. What? We're now playing GeoGuessr. <laughs> <laughs> How has this turned into GeoGuessr? Where are we? This could literally be anywhere. Um... I mean, it's Sandy. What is that on the floor? I am travel addict. Peng Shi photography. Okay, well, they were a photographer that's traveled the world. Not too useful. Uh, we could literally be in a lot of countries right now. Uh, I won't lie, it's, it's a pretty place. But oh, look, civilization, civilization. Okay, we have cars. Cars always help. I don't know what sort of number plate that is, actually. What about that one? I mean, that's... I feel like that's like a really American car. Could this be a? Oh, actually, look, I'm standing on something. The car cross desert. Watch your step. Yes, yeah, all in English. Oh, there's literally a sign that says car cross desert. Okay, cheeky little Google. Car cross desert is in Canada. Nice. Okay, what's next? Your password must include a leap year. What? <laughs> A leap year? Oh, I've just put a naught in. Naught was a leap year, apparently. <laughs> no way. What are the odds of getting that? I honestly... <laughs> oh, no, we're doing chess now. Your password must include the best move in algebraic chess notation. Oh, dear. Okay, I've heard, I've heard about this. This is like where you say, like, queen to e6 or whatever. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on so white to move so what would be the best move i think that's where we start right uh, we have our queen there so maybe we would want to take that to take out that 
spawn. I mean, oh, I don't really know chess. Like, I know how to play it. I'm not, I'm just not like one of those, I can't think like 20 moves ahead. Maybe like three. No, we could also move our bishop. That could only go like forward. So up to there, it's not going to do a lot. Rook, I don't think you can do much. All right, well, let's try queen, which will be a capital Q, I'm pretty sure. And then you say where you want it to go. So I think if I want it to move there, I say E6. So E6. Okay, so it's got a cross there, presumably because it's not the best move. But if I said like E4, yeah, that's an illegal move. So that's impossible. So maybe if we go take the pawn, so F7, invalid notation. I think you need like an X somewhere. Is it in between? Thankfully, it does give you a link to the Wikipedia for the algebraic notation of chess. So give me a few minutes to consume this page. We're done! Yeah! Okay, so I think that is right. I just need to add, because it's check, because that pawn will be will be removed, I will be there, so I'll be in check. So I need to add a plus at the end. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, but annoyingly, your digits in your password must add up to 25. I've just added a 7, which means... I guess this number I've got to change. I've got to reduce by seven. So if we delete one and then turn another one into a three, there you go, we're, we're back. Oh man, look, all of these were... <laughs> this game's so cool. Rule 17, this is my chicken, Paul. He hasn't hatched yet. Please put him in your password and keep him safe. Okay, so we'll grab Paul, we'll shove him in. I assume if we like accidentally or, well, or on purpose, if we delete that, it says keep him safe. So will that be the end of the game? I don't know. Let's hopefully not find out. Rule 18, the elements in your password must have atomic numbers that add up to 200. Uh. <laughs> okay, so it has highlighted them in pink. So we have HE, which is two. We then have V, are they two Vs and two Is? I think they are, because they're all uppercase. I'm pretty sure V is something like vanadium or something, vanity, I can't remember. And I, isn't that iodine? Iodine, depends on how you pronounce it. Thankfully, Google is my friend. And if I use my calculator to do two plus 23, which is vanadium. Add it again for the one at the end, and then just two lots of 53. We can then take the 54 we get away from 200, which leaves us with 46. And if we look that up on the periodic table, that is palladium. Well, obviously. So P D. Nice. Rule 19. All the vowels in your password must be bolded. So it has highlighted them all. I have a little bold button there. So I guess we do A, bold, I, bold. Couldn't I just like make everything bold? Is that not a thing? Because uh, technically that would work fine, right? So that's that done. There's, oh no, your password is on fire. Quick, put out. No, 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 no. Put out, put out. Delete, 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 delete. Oh, oh, that was ripping through my password. It's set on fire. Oh no, it means it's deleted some of it as well. Oh, what month did we have? It was May. No, I changed it to April. So April, I've got to bold the A and the I. All the digits must add up to 25. Oh, what do they add up to now? 10 to, uh, am I just missing? I'm just missing a one. Oh, we did it. Your password is not strong enough. And then a little macho man. So have I got to add the little macho man? Oh, yeah. Oh, decent. That's a strong password. <laughs> Literally. Your password must contain one of the following. Oh, okay. We'll do we'll do the top one because I know that Paddy loves me, especially when it's like dinner time for him. Oh, but no, look. So that's changed two of these. So we've got to bold those, which is fine. However, the elements are now wrong. So if we take what we had, you can see we've added an I and an I was iodine. So even if we delete the Alidium. We're going to end up with a minus number, which means we have to sort of fix what we had earlier. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember why they were in here now. Oh, yeah. The Roman numerals in your password should multiply to 35. So if I delete all of those... <laughs> Yeah, Roman numerals should multiply to 35. So since I need that I, I am... Oh, actually, could I? Could that be part of it? So if I do V, I, I there, and then leave a V back there. Yes, we've done it. We've actually done it. So we just had to rearrange. Uh, oh, look, Paul has hatched. Please don't forget to feed him. He eats three of those every minute. What? So, oh, yeah, look, they're disappearing. Okay, so I've got to put loads of those in, I guess. Uh, your password must include the URL of a 29-minute, 41-second-long YouTube video. Wait, what? 
Paul was overfed. Oh, it started me back at the start. Oh, dear. Well, that is what I say to that. Two very boring minutes later. And before I go on to rule 23, which is where we got to feed Paul, I'm going to find that video that was like, oh, I can't remember how long it was. I was trying to be clever. Oh, well, here we go. Right, Paul is hatched. So we need three of those. So, oh, it changes. 31 minutes, 19 seconds. Okay, so I got YouTube up. I'm going to go on Biffa's channel because I know he likes to do like... 30 minute long videos. I uh, just got to remember to keep adding the blooming things. The caterpillars. If I forget, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. And I'm pretty sure if we go over three, he'll be overfed and he'll die. If they all get eaten and we last an extra 20 seconds, then Paul will also die. So cheers, game. Appreciate this. Oh, he's done one that's 31 minutes 24, but that's not good enough. Actually, I wonder, can I just search 3119? Yes, it worked. It worked. I found one. <laughs> All right, copy link. Wang it there. So there's the video, but oh, caterpillars. All right, I'll just shove those at the end. Oh, now I can't. And now we've got loads of other stuff that's wrong. Okay, so we've got to make these bold. I won't be able to change this. So this is one that's got to stay as it is. So they're all bold. Let's add another caterpillar. Another two caterpillars even. Uh, digits must add up to 25. Okay, so we've added an eight. So we take away eight from there, which should just be doing that. Okay, that's good. Only two more rules left to do. I feel like his face is like laughing at me. <laughs> He's like, hi, you're stressing. I'm not. I'm playing Roblox. So Roman numerals. Okay, so what have I... Oh, what are all these? So we have a W. What is a W? Oh, I think that's part of the atomic one, isn't it? I'll do that afterwards. I think I got to do the Roman numerals first. Oh, we've added a V there. Okay, so if I get rid of... Was it that V? Yes. Okay, we've done that one. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So atomic numbers. I know I can get rid of that one. Oh no, I think use uranium. That's like 90 something. Yeah, I've just looked. It's 92. So we may have to find another video <laughs> after all that. In fact, we will because we can't change the Roman numeral ones. Oh, this is harsh, man. Much, much, much later. Okay, I found another video. It has a lowercase x. But I think because it's lowercase, that's fine. So let's swap with that. Okay, there we go. The fat burning one. All right, so this one actually has no numbers in. So we've got to re-add some of the numbers we had while keeping these caterpillars going. <laughs> so whoa, five and a four. Okay, that's good. Roman numerals up to 35. Uh, let's just make these bold while we're here as well. So we've added a B and a H and an S. So a B. B is boron, which is a five. H is hydrogen. That's just one. Keep the caterpillars going. And then S. S is sulfur, which is 16. So all those added up, taken away from 25, is 24, which is chromium, which is CR. I'm going to add that to the start. So CR. Oh, I've done, I've done some maths wrong somewhere. Why doesn't that work? Oh, because there's only one. There's only one V now. I thought we still had two V. This is so confusing. It's probably making no sense to follow on video either. I've got like 10 screens open. Calculator on my phone. Okay, it's actually 47, which is A, G for silver. Yes. Wait, but now the Roman numerals don't pass oh, because I've lost a V. See, I did need that extra V. Wait, right, let's add a V in there and then swap back to chromium. And then, oh man, <laughs> I can't have chromium because C is a... It's blooming 100. Can I just add an H somewhere? Because uh, an H is just a 1, isn't it? If I add two H's, remembering to put the caterpillar in, I can then just do EI for titanium. Yes, okay, we've done it. We're on to rule 25. <laughs> a sacrifice must be made. Pick two letters that you'll no longer be able to use. Uh, do they get deleted? Are they just future or do they get deleted from up here? I'm going to have a look and try and find some letters we haven't used yet. But I reckon Z probably. I think Z and J, they're going. Sacrifice. Okay, we've done it. We're on to rule 26. How many rules are there? Your password must contain twice as many italics than bold. Oh, this is such a waste of time. So basically just italic loads of stuff. Wait, twice as many. That's a lot. We're good for now. I'm probably going to need more italics though. So I should probably italic everything that I can. Oh no, at least 30% of your password must be in wingdings. I'm not going to be able to read it then. <laughs> The question is, does that ruin earlier stuff? Oh, can I just like add wingding stuff? Like, can I just add like, what if I just do lowercase h's and then just change that all to wingdings? Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, that was a cheap way around it, but it's good. Your password must include this color in hex. How am I going to find out what that is? I'm going to have to open Photoshop. I'm going to snip that. 
And then I'm going to save that. And then I uploaded it to this. It should tell me what it is. Why aren't you telling me what it is? Oh, there you go. There's, there's the number. There's a the number. I need to keep doing the caterpillars. Oh, no. I just realized that's got loads of numbers. Oh, it's in wingdings as well. <laughs> Let's not wingding it. Let's go back to normal. Uh, I need to keep copying them. Okay, so all vowels must be bolded. Okay, we need twice as many italics as bold. Okay, so can I just add loads of small H's and make them italic? Okay. Oh no, it's got a capital. It's got a capital C. I'm going to have to change the color. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, well, delete that hex. Refresh the color. Take another snip of it. Upload it to that website and then it comes back with that, which I've just pasted in blooming wingdings again. Okay, we have an A and two E's, so they just need to be bolded and then the digits must add up to 25. Okay. Oh, okay. We're back. We're back. So we've got a one and a three that we've added. So I can delete the three from there and just the one from there, right? Okay. I'm quite concerned what the next part of this is going to be. All Roman numerals must be in Times New Roman. Oh, come on game. Why are you doing this to me? So the V make that Times New Roman. The I I Times New Roman. Okay, we're on to rule 30. The font size of every digit must be equal to its square. Uh what what does that what does that mean exactly? So five has to be Wait, there isn't a five. Does that mean I can't use fives anymore? What about zero? Does that mean I can't use Oh, there is a zero pixel. The zero pixels are going down to zero. There is a one. Oh, there isn't a three. Oh, game. Come on, man. I gotta do another color. Do we have we don't even have fives, so I can't even do the five. Is there a six? There's not a six. I don't even know what that six is for anymore, but <laughs> but I can't use it. What if I do delete it? Oh, it's the chess piece. I can't do this then, because that's literally impossible, isn't it? I think I'm stumped. Yeah, I think I think this is literally impossible. Can't do it now. Let me just check that these are right. So if I made that size one, yeah, that worked. So what if I make that 36? Okay, it does just go bigger, but yeah, it's still wrong. Oh, that's so annoying. I literally, I literally can't win because I have to do H6 because that's the, that's the chess move. And a lot of these things are like random every time. So as good as this password is, there's, there's no way around that. That is a shame. Sorry, Paul. I'm just deleting Paul. Screw you, Paul. Paul has been slain. I don't care. All right, so these are the full list of rules. We got to rule 30. There are only five remaining. The next one was every instance of the same letter must have a different size font. So I guess basically you couldn't use the same letter too many times, like more than eight times or something. Your password must include the length of your password. <laughs> What? And the length of your password must be a prime number. Rule 34. I mean, I wonder why that one was skipped. And then finally, your password must include the current time. And bear in mind how many numbers there are in the time and all the effects that would have on previous things. Oh, man. It's also worth noting as well, if you followed all 35 rules, you'll encounter the true test of the password game. The game will ask you for your final password. Once you confirm, your password will disappear, and then you have two minutes to type in the exact password. <laughs> Failure to do so will result in the game ending. Well, that is all I have to say about that. What a game. Uh, if you enjoyed, push the like button, but I'm going to go lie down for a bit. Peace, love, and passwords. Bye!